Chicago Daily Tribune, Saturday, July 16th, 1960. People talking trying to pick us up, why won't they let us be? Bricks and stone may break my bones, but talk don't bother me. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Wilson orders war on teenage gangs. Superintendent O.W. Wilson ordered a police crackdown Friday on teenage hoodlum gangs to clean up what he described as a serious blot on the city's reputation. Commanding officers were ordered to take up more vigorous actions against roving lawless gangs, which have terrorized many individuals and communities in the city. Roundup, 12 in gang. Wilson's order followed a police roundup of 10 members of the notorious Egyptian Cobras, a teenage gang that rode around in two cars with a shotgun and other weapons seeking a fight. Two more were seized Friday night. The cars they used were stolen, and gang members said they had stolen other cars to ride as they sought a fight. These were other developments in the teenage terror that has hit some sections of the city. Number one, Mrs. Olivia Shannon of 5614 Calumet Avenue charged that a teenage gang, the Braves, has terrorized her community and tried to beat her son. Number two, a 16-year-old boy, winner of a National Merit Scholarship, was beaten twice by a gang of toughs near Western Avenue and Addison Street. The gang invaded his home once to beat him. His mother sent him to live with relatives in California and is herself moving to a northwest suburb. Chased by police, the Egyptian Cobra gang members are Melvin Bubbles Phillips, 19, and his brother Jonathan, 15 of 953 Hyde Park Boulevard. Andrew Redman, 18, of 4801 Forestville Avenue. Stanley Warner, 17, of 4853 St. Lawrence Avenue. One more time. Austin Rucker, 22, of 5404 Woodlaw Avenue. William Mosley, 15, of 5228 Woodlawn Avenue. Wayne Winston, 15, of 441 East 48th Street. Fred Lang, 14, of 4753 St. Lawrence Avenue. Edward Woods, 16, of 4725 St. Lawrence Avenue. Robert Perkins, 15, of 4738 St. Lawrence Avenue. Charles Mitchell, 17, of 6654 Eagleston Avenue, and Warren Gavin, 18, of 5935 State Street. Fine loaded guns. Five policemen chased the two carloads of Cobras Thursday night after getting a report of gunfire at Calumet Avenue and 47th Street. 50th Street and South Park Way, one gang car reported stolen earlier in the day crashed into a parked car. One of the gang was captured as he ran away. The second car sped away. The first car contained a loaded shotgun. The second car, found later by police, contained a loaded rifle and a zip gun. The gang members, all found at their homes except the one seized after the chase, said they were out to square the count with the devil's disciples, another gang of young hoodlums. That's the sound of the men working on the chain gang. That's the sound of the men working on the chain. Gang, all day long they're saying, Ooh.